Well, let's speak to Hossam El Sokari about this. He's a former head of BBC Arabic and is joining us from Cairo. Thank you so much for being with us on Al Jazeera. Um, as someone who's worked with the BBC and was so closely involved in setting up BBC Arabic, what is your reaction first when, when you hear that these cuts are coming into effect today? Uh, it's a sad moment because this is this is the place where we just haven't seen only a very uh, effective and uh, influential uh, broadcast in the region that started or in, in 1938, but also it was a lifeline for lots of people uh, in in um, uh, underprivileged areas who were able to listen to a lifeline at some point in time through very small devices that were not very uh, expensive like the radio devices. Um, now they would have to use much more complicated and probably more expensive devices if they want to listen or, or enjoy the BBC services. So it's, it's quite a sad moment for, uh, for people like myself, especially that uh, it was not only a language service, a service where we had um, experimented with uh, very early forms of interaction with audiences. It's a service where we did the first ever tri-media casting in 2000 in uh, uh, in cooperation with Kuwait TV, it's a place where we had the early right. uh, attempts at um, uh, launching an integrated service in the region uh, where you could join the production processes of radio, online and TV together in mm. one place. How would you describe the, the influence of the BBC's Arabic service at its height and how has it evolved over the years? It's quite interesting. You mean, lots of people know about the history of, of the BBC foreign services uh, mm -hmm. or language services. Uh, the Arabic service in particular had a very strong following in places like Sudan, like Yemen, uh, like Saudi Arabia, um, like Syria, like Egypt. Uh, lots of people uh, trusted the BBC and uh, its news services much more than uh, the local um, broadcasts. Um, its importance is, is now... Uh, uh, really, um, um, uh, it, it is needed now because many of the services that they are provided, despite from the uh, abundance that you have in uh, radio and television services, but an independent source of information is really needed in the Middle East. Mm -hmm. And it's quite sad to see that some people would lose access to uh, that kind of information right. through in, radio. In the past, uh, Hossam, the BBC World Service was seen as a kind of extension of the British Empire. Do you agree, first of all, with that characterization? And, and how important do you think the service is still today? And, and do you see the, these cuts perhaps weakening the UK's soft power around the world? Well, I, I, it is true that the BBC was part of the British Empire, but it evolved over the years, and lots of people... Um, uh, probably miss the point uh, when, it, when, it, when, it see, when it comes to how this has happened. And I think what is unique about the BBC is that all the services have the same, uh, uh, the same guidelines, the same editorial guidelines, the same book that we use in order to be able to judge what we do, and the same processes when it comes to uh, auditing our, uh, our broadcasts and listening to them and evaluating them. So there were, there were no two different sets of values that we use when it comes to producing our information and services. Um, and, and that is one of the reasons for which um, the BBC Arabic service and other language services over the years have evolved uh, to a status that is actually unmatched in, in the Middle East. Um, uh, the, the, the question now, actually, when it comes to uh, 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 what is happening now, is how the BBC started financing its services since 2014, mm -hmm. uh, because this is the point at which uh, the um, funding started to be coming from the uh, license fees, mm -hmm. from the BBC license fees, rather than from the grant in aid that was offered by the parliament and managed by the uh, foreign office. I think this okay. is a decisive moment and we're seeing the extensions of that happening now. Thank you so much for talking to us, Hossam El Sokari, former head of BBC Arabic, joining us there from Cairo. We appreciate your time and insight. Thank you. Thank you, Holly. Thank you.